Like all living organisms, plants need nutrients for their proper growth and development. They get carbon, oxygen and hydrogen from air and water to carry out photosynthesis, which is a very important process for plants. But what about mineral nutrients? Where do they get their mineral nutrients from? The answer is soil. The presence of minerals in soil is a result of weathering of parent rocks. This means the parent rocks undergo various chemical and physical mechanical changes, leaving behind these mineral elements in the soil as a result. These minerals in soil are either in absorbed form or in dissolved form. So to absorb the minerals from the soil, plants use their roots and in some cases their leaves. The mineral nutrients absorbed have many functions and roles to play in the body of plants. They are constituents of various proteins, pigments, nucleic acids and enzymes. They also play roles in cell signaling and metabolism. Plants take up these mineral nutrients in the form of ions. This uptake of minerals can either be a passive process, termed as passive transport, which takes place along the concentration gradient, thus requiring no energy, or an active process, termed as active transport, which requires energy because it occurs against the concentration gradient. The passive process transport or absorption can be explained by diffusion theory, the ion exchange theory, and Donan's equilibrium. Diffusion theory. When the concentration of mineral ions is higher in the external soil solution than the root, then the ions in the soil solution will move from a region of higher concentration, in this case the soil solution, to a region of lower concentration, that is the roots. This movement of molecules or ions is called diffusion. The ions keep moving inside until an equilibrium is reached. One of the reasons that allows the ions to diffuse into the root cells is because of the apparent free space. However, unlike non-charged molecules, ions will have difficulty to pass through the hydrophilic membrane directly. To facilitate the movement, the proteins called channel proteins and carrier proteins are needed. Ion exchange theory. In this process, the ions, mainly cations, that are absorbed to the root surface due to the negative charge of the cell wall, are exchanged with the ions present in soil. The positively charged hydrogen ions absorbed into the surface of the roots can easily be exchanged with cations of sodium and potassium present in the soil. Similarly, an anion like hydroxyl ion from the root cell can be exchanged with anion present in the soil. Ion exchange can be explained by contact exchange theory. According to contact exchange theory, ions can be taken up the plants without being dissolved in soil. The ions absorbed onto the root surface and the ions attached to clay particles are not entirely static. They oscillate in a small volume of space. And if the roots of plant and the soil particles are in close proximity, that the oscillation volume of the ions overlap, ion exchange can take place. The exchanged ions enter the root by diffusion. Carbonic exchange theory. Roots of the plants continuously respire, which results in production of carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide produced during respiration in roots combines with water to form carbonic acid, which dissociates into hydrogen and bicarbonate ion. The hydrogen ions produced as a result are exchanged with cations in soil. Donnan equilibrium. Another theory of passive absorption is Donnan's equilibrium theory, which states that there are some ions inside the root cells that are indiffusible across the membrane due to the selective nature of the cell membrane. If the root cells have cations accumulated inside as indiffusible ions, then anions present in soil enter the membrane without expenditure of energy to maintain a balanced electrical potential. The movement of anions in this example will result in an equilibrium which may not be equal in terms of concentration. These mechanics enable plants to take up minerals from the soil to ensure their proper growth.